Hello to all. I am Dr. A. Beatrice Dorothy, Assistant Professor, Department of Data Science, St. Joseph College, Trichetopoli. Today we are going to see about operation with matrices. We can solve matrices by performing operations on them. The basic operations that can be performed on matrices are addition of matrix, subtraction of matrix, multiplication of matrices, transpose of matrices and inverse of matrices. Addition of matrices. The addition of matrices can only be possible if the number of rows and columns of both the matrices are the same. While adding the matrices, we have to consider the corresponding elements of the matrices. For example, here we have the rows A11. We have to add with B11. See, the resultant element is A11 of the first matrix and B11 of the second matrix. Likewise, we have to consider the next element A12 and B21. So, we have to add the rows of the first element, a matrix and elements that are in the second matrix column. So, that we will be getting the resultant matrix. Likewise, we do the subtraction matrix. We have to consider the elements that are in the rows of the first matrix and the elements that are in the second matrix, that is the column. The resultant matrix will be like this. We have to subtract B11 from A11. The resultant will be like this. Next one is multiplication of matrices. Matrix multiplication is defined only if the number of columns in the first matrix and rows in the second matrix or rows in the first matrix and column in the second matrix are equal. Here we have equal number of elements in the row of the first matrix and equal number of elements in the column of the second matrix. So we have to add all those A, J, C, B, M. element C and P. Likewise, we have to do the multiplication of matrices. Properties of multiplication matrix. These are the properties. When we have A matrix when it is multiplied with the identity matrix, the resultant matrix will be the A matrix. When we multiply A matrix with a null or zero matrix, then resultant matrix will be a null matrix. Multiplication matrix does not support commutative law, but it supports associative and distributive law. Transpose operation of a matrix. A transpose matrix 
is that we have to replace the row of a matrix of the elements to the column. The transpose matrix is done. When we replace the rows of the matrix to the columns and the columns to the rows. This is called as transpose matrix. Here we have the elements A, B, C in the row. If we transpose this, this will become as a column. Properties of the transpose of a matrix. If we take transpose of the A transpose, then the resultant matrix will be A. And also, if we add two matrix and take the transpose, it will be equal to the transpose of the individual matrix, provided it has to be of the same order. AB transpose is equal to B transpose A transpose. A and B being conformable for the product AB. This is also called reversal law. Also we have the property A is a matrix and S is scalar. If we take the transpose of the two things, we will have the resultant matrix like this. Inverse of a matrix. Inverse of a matrix is denoted as the matrix raised to the power minus 1 for any matrix. The inverse of the matrix exists only if the determinant of the matrix is a non-zero. If it is zero, then inverse of the matrix doesn't exist. With the help of this, we can calculate the determinant. Properties of the inverse matrix. A inverse of inverse will give a resultant matrix as A, which is also equal to transpose of the matrix. Only a non-singular square matrix can have an inverse. Thank you.